What's going on everybody and welcome to another sort of episode of Portal Knights. So this is going to be a bit of a tutorial video and the reason why I'm doing this, this is actually to help you guys with your backups for the new version that's going to be coming out probably in the next four to six weeks. They said summer release is when we're going to have the new version 1.6. If you haven't seen the updates, make sure you go check out Portal Knights or at Portal Knights on Twitter. They're giving updates on a daily basis of all the new characters and new items and all that kind of stuff. So be sure to check that out. But what I'd like to help you guys with today is to get you guys on the right page with how to back up your game properly. Now, there's a lot of, um, I don't want to say misinformation, but there is a little bit of uh, miscommunication in the way to be able to do this correctly. And the reason why a lot of people, what they tend to do is here, let me close this down first. Normally what people do is they go, hey, go in here and you're going to go to your C drive. You're going to go over to your user. You're going to select your name. So not Andrew, your name. And then you're going to click on save games. And what's going to happen, you'll have however many saved games in here, but you'll have portal nights. People will tell you to right click on it, cut, actually copy it and then paste it to your desktop, right? So we'll do that, 2,400 files are being saved. And if we look in that, basically it's every backup that we've ever had on the game. The problem with this particular way of doing it is when we go into our Steam, click on our library, and then we right click on the Portal Knights game and go down to properties updates we usually will have enable steam cloud synchronization for portal nights what this does is it actually stops saving the game to your hard drive so if you've had this checked off for a year year and a half two years you will not have any proper saved data on your hard drive so if we were to well here i'll leave this on so right now we're going to go into portal nights We'll launch it up as normal. I'll show you what I'm talking about so that you get a better understanding of why we need to do it the other way. And it's not confusing, but it can be. So I think it's best if I just show you. So if we go into Portal Nights here, you'll see that right now we have Chills, Chili, Chillette, and Ultimate Chills. We have four characters. If we go to Chillette, you see one, two, three, four, five different islands, okay? So if I get out of here, we exit the game, and we go back into the Steam, we go into Portal Knights, Properties, we go to the Updates tab, and we uncheck Steam Cloud Synchronization. We close that. We hit play again. What's going to happen? This is going to access anything that's on my hard drive. So over the last however many years, I think it's been since 2016, so three years that I've been playing this game, I've had Steam synchronization activated for probably about a year and a half. We'll say a year at minimum. So if we go back in and we hit play, you'll now see that we have Chills, Chili, Chillette, nobody else. Because remember we had um, the other Ultimate Chills and something else. If we, oops, sorry. So we hit uh, play. I only have three islands in here now. This is accessing, see, 2017, 2017. This island here, I accessed that 2019, June 8th. That's actually last week when I was experimenting with how this works. Uh, this is actually a save that happened before I did the treehouse build. If you don't know what that is, you can go back and watch videos. So what I'm gonna show you now is how to actually back up the game properly what you need to do you have to go into where is it here portal nights property instead of going to the update tab move over one more to local files there's an option the second one down that says backup game files so what you're going to do is you're going to find however many games you have stored on here. You're going to find a list of all those. Make sure that Portal Knights is checked off. You're going to hit the next button. And what's going to happen is going to say, where do you want to back this game up? The default drive is C, Program Files, x86, Steam, Backups. You're going to want to hit the next on that. And then it says, what's the backup name? So we'll say uh, Portal Knights. 153 which is the oops, 153 which is the update we're currently in 
So that's going to be the 153 update save that we have. Hit next. It says cannot create. Uh, I already actually saved that. So uh, save one. There we go. So what's going to happen now is it's actually going to back up the entire game. And that is going to be everything that is in the Steam cloud. Okay. And that's why you need to do this backup. Now, this is the full backup of the entire game. Everything that you have ever had in the game and is still there will be backed up to the hard drive. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let this run its course, uh, this here. So about three minutes from now, I'm going to bring you back and I'm going to show you how to fix the game if it is damaged after the update. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, everybody, so we are back and the backup has now been completed. What normally the rule of thumb is, is that you would like to have three backups of your files. So the typical file that would normally be saved to the cloud or to your hard drive, uh, which is we have one or two, right? One to the cloud, one to your hard drive, and then you'd like to make a remote backup. So either a secondary hard drive or like they say, a CD or DVD R, if anybody even has any of those anymore, uh, but put it on a memory stick, something like that. So normally what we would have right here, we have two different save files. I'm gonna delete this one because we have the newest one. So right where it said, local drive C, program x86, Steam, backups. So now you have Portal Knights backed up right there. So in the event that they release the 1.6 update and something breaks and you go, oh my God, I can't access anything. The downside to being able to fix this right now, there is no way for you to be able to install an old version of Portal Knights. So I can look at the update history. It takes me through all the updates that they've ever done. Um, enable Steam Overlay, use desktop. There's nothing I can do anywhere in here to be able to access 153 or 127, 1.1. I can't do that. So in order to be able to fix the game, I have to wait for Portal Knights to release a fix for whatever broke my game. Once that fix is done, up in the top left corner, you have the Steam uh, tab and you click on backup and restore games. So this is my game won't work. You go into here, backup a currently installed program next, and then we can click on Border Nights. Click on next. Where's the backup destination? If it's not there, you can browse to it and then hit the next button. What's the backup file name? Oops, hang on. Steam backup and restore game. I want to restore a previous, sorry, 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 my bad. So restore a previous backup. Where is it? It's in here. Uh, we're going to browse and that's the one we want select. So once you've got that done, create a desktop short shortcut, whatever you're going to do, that's going to reinstall Portal Knights with the old save data. So nothing will be corrupt. So hopefully this helps you guys out. This is really the only way to back up the saves. Um, I've tried a few different ways by going into Portal Knights and um, while I'm in the game, I tried to go into properties, into updates and uncheck Steam Cloud while I was playing. And in my experiences, it didn't save the game. So I don't know if you have to be in the game for a certain period of time before it actually saves because when I place blocks, I exited the game, it did not back it up to my hard drive. So be careful with that there. Make sure that you guys do have the right file. Test, test, test before the update comes out. Hopefully this helps you. I know that some people are saying that all you have to do is, like I said, go into here and click on your save games and move it over here. That's not always the case because if you've had that um, synchronizing, online synchronization Steam Cloud, that's going to be an old backup. So if you don't know if it's an old backup, uncheck that in Steam. Like I said, go to library, go here, go to properties, go to updates, uncheck that, then load the game, see what's there. If it is comparable to what you already have, then fine, you're going to be awesome. If you're not, I would suggest playing this way for a little while and let it save to the hard drive. Then you could do the old way of backing it up, which is to take this and then copy it to your hard drive. 
So hopefully this helps everybody. If you do have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'll try to help you out the best I can. I'm not a troubleshooter by any means, but I will do my best to help you. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care.